Today, I am going to be teaching you how to get banana wood. And before this video starts, well, actually, you should be able to tell from the title, this is the version without using a door bridge, all right? No door bridge, all right? I don't, which, but yeah, I think this is, yeah, all right. I have a ton of spawn pads. I lost a pink vehicle. Oh, wait, I have one in the corner there, the truck pad. Okay, I lost a pink vehicle, pink truck. Gosh darn it, gosh darn it. But anyways, for this method, it requires an Actually, yeah, you, you need an end times axe. I was, uh, no, not end times axe. I'm getting banana wood. Never mind. What what the frick? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta get my facts straight for this game. Anyways, you will need a good axe recommended the many axe. All right. Um, get a many axe or something like that. All right. Um, and you're also going to need an eye. All right. Um, the only axe that doesn't work would be the candy cane. Don't break the candy cane. All right. Candy cane axe does not work. Okay. You all, so yeah, like I said, you need an eye, all right? And in, what you need to do, I, I'm just gonna do this real quick here. Um, if you're in, if you're in a um, public server, don't set it up yet because someone will buy it and then lower it when you don't want it to be lowered. But if you're in a private server, then you're in a private server. You know, it's fine. So I, I'm just gonna get this on here. You gotta get this like in between the glass. Some people like use, put wood on it to like um, get it to stay. I normally don't do that. I might actually have to do that this time. I don't know. Maybe I could grab this eyeball and... This looks like it's going to stay. And then it doesn't. There, it stayed, okay? So anyways, I have that all set up, all right? So I don't have to worry about it in the future. Anyways, we're going to get into the action right here, right now. And I think there is another method you could do without a door bridge. Um, actually, yes, there is. You can, like, use, like, long planks, all right? But I'm not going to be going over. I'm, I'm just going to be calling this the easiest way because I feel like long planks would take way too long, all right? So I'm just going to call this the easiest way. I feel this is the easiest way. So anyways, you get your truck like this. I want you to open your car door here and open your tailgate. And then when you pop into here, open this car door. This allows the truck's hitbox to be as large as possible, all right? Then you back the truck into the river. Therefore, it will not, it'll have a low chance of flipping over and then just continue on this way to the corner here, all right? Um, up here. And then basically what you need to do is just wait, all right? I, I recommend you close your stuff now because you're gonna be getting banana wood eventually. Who's excited for banana wood? As soon as there's no like health bar or whatever, or, um, your health bar is like pretty green and like almost full go again all right continue well what i mean by go again is continue on this way all right all right i've only da four times i got damaged not bad all right i'm gonna keep my truck here you could go over to the, the island over there but i recommend just skipping that and doing what i'm gonna do next so let me once again wait for my health to heal up see look i gotta wait for it to be green and even if it's just and not right when it first gets green because that's not enough health like I'll, I'll tell you right here I mean I guess you could go but actually no don't go why did I, why the heck did I even say that did, no no you gotta wait for a little bit I'll tell you when the perfect time to go is all right not now not yet not yet not yet uh, I'd say, yeah, right about now when there's only, like, one number worth of health that's not healed up. Just go. Just go. Alright. Skip over here. Go over here. I, I want to warn you that if you do die, you will lose the axe that you have in your truck. What you could do to get it back is drive a truck down there and then just try and look for the axe and then try and, like, drive right by it and pick up the axe. It's, it's really difficult. I recommend don't get caught up in that. If you lose the axe, just abandon it. Alright. Um... But anyways, anyways, um, there are the trees, and just one more, one more, um, pass, like, basically, we have to travel underwater one more time before the banana wood. As we progress, as we go to the banana wood, I'm going to very quickly explain who this memorial is for. So I think, yes, I'm pretty sure Defaulto, the creator of Lumber Tycoon 2, added in banana wood necessarily for this memorial i think because banana wood was limited in the 2017 christmas event and then tic tac wait tic ta twert wert wait tic at wert tic tat wert 
I think that's how you pronounce it. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I um, really like the banana wood, but then unfortunately passed in 2018. And as you can see there, she was born in 1997. All right. Um, so I think Defaultio actually um, added the banana, banana wood back into the game. Tic Tac. Wait, I'm saying it wrong again. Tic Tac Wirt has 9.65k subscribers, really close to 10,000 subscribers. All right. Rest in peace, Tic Tac Wirt. All right. Um, so basically, you just chop down a tree, and these are pretty easy to pick up actually all right unlike most wood in lumber tycoon 2 this is actually very like you'd be shook how easy it is to pick up well it's not picking up so easily because there's actually this is actually what the heck this is a huge tree this stuff does glow but once you sawmill it it turns into the yellow banana planked wood that you know you probably do see from time to time on lumber tycoon 2 players as bases all right what you want to do is yeah, you know what? I think, yeah, I think you should carry, I would, I would say, like, chop them up into logs. I mean, that is a tactic you can do if you really want to get the maximum amount of wood. Like, if you really want to be like, all right, I want to get this log, that log, this log. But I feel like maybe not. That would take way too much time. And I guess you could get more wood. But, like, I feel like it's not even that much more wood that you're going to be getting anyway. Because, like, most of these uh, trees, pieces, logs are, like, you know, similar size. Like, the, the base of the tree and the branches. So, you know what? For this tutorial, I say keep them into two trees. The only risk factor about this is that if one if one piece falls, like a lot of it will fall. Instead of one piece falling, it being only one log. That's the only um, risk. If you can chop this up into separate logs, just in case. So if like a piece falls, it's not like most of the thing. All right. So you can make your own decision on that. All right. And why do I say fall? Because, well, it has something to do with the end times, the lowering of the end times bridge. You will see um, later this video. Anyways, you want to get out of here. All right, the way I have this set up, I have a feeling that this is... Yeah, this tree is way too... There's no way I can get that out of a tree. I, I need to get a smaller tree. All right, I'm very much risking um, one of the trees falling out because I actually did take a pretty big tree. So if you're going to do this method, you got to be super careful. You got to take two small trees, or if you're taking a big tree like me, you... ha! it's it, it still popped out. How? How? Okay, I should have a good now. I swear if this actually... It did. Wait. No. I'm going I think I might lose this all. Wait. Okay. I somehow got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, keep in mind if you're going to put these carry these out like trees, like full trees, it, it's going to be a little tedious. So, but here's the thing, you're saving time by instead of having to chop all the trees. I'd still be over there for I'd still be over there for like three times the amount of time that I've spent over there this time around doing these trees. Whole I might just, you know, I might just get this off and just make it this. So I could just uh, put this on here like this, and I could just do this. Okay, let's see how this goes. No, it, it's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, you gotta be super careful when you stand here. If you you if it's like almost in the water, just stand on the opposite side of the water, like towards the wall. Press and hold this. Press hold. Press and hold shift, and then press W. Well, no S. I'm pressing that W. What the heck? Oh my! And then I just gotta get this back in. Okay, rest in peace to the other tree. I did. I couldn't get it. All right, but this is a pretty big tree to be fair. Okay, let's continue. All right. Oh, oh no! What's what's happening? Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay, I got this tree actually on pretty well, actually, the way I have it. See, just take notes. Just take notes. I have it on pretty good. See, I had it on so good that, like, that one, like, little slip-up that it had, well, it's still stuck on because of how good I had the tree on. And now we can see even better, so I can... Yeah, just, no, no, no. I'm not doing this correctly. 
Okay, anyways, now's the point of where you can go and ask a friend to lower the bridge for you. Alright, speaking of friends, I'm shook that no one has joined the server by now. Um, I'm used to people joining all the freaking time. I guess people are just busy. I'm not complaining. Okay, so basically you're gonna reset. Drop your axe, reset. Okay, you're gonna eventually come back to the premises. Alright. Um, I forgot to mention that you're gonna want more than just a truck. Um, so I'm gonna get this $8 utility vehicle. Or I, I might as well just get this other truck too. I'm pretty sure that if you have it, if you're, if you play the game, you at least have a big truck. If you played the game for at least an amount of time, you have at least a big truck and one of the smaller vehicles. All right. I have two of these big trucks. Don't respond to the truck that you have over there. I mean, I guess you could. It doesn't matter because the banana wood's over there and stuff like that. So I guess it wouldn't even matter, come to think of it. So basically, you lower the bridge. If you did not put the eye in front of the person, put the eye in front of the person. The person will say, wow, thanks, if you did it properly. All right. Now I'm going to ask this person. How long will the bridge be down? Okay, I feel like that's enough time just to get this one tree I have. Um, you could extend the amount of time um, depending on, um, you know, if you have multiple pieces to take care of. What I'm going to end up doing since I have one big tree is that I'm going to drop it down on the bridge. You know, that's what you do when you get, if you get, got multiple logs, just drop the multiple logs down the bridge, all right? I'm doing a little more, a little more riskier because I have a whole piece. So, like, if I literally lose the piece, I lose the battle, all right, in getting the banana wood. All right, um, that's, that's basically what I have to deal with here. Remember, open your things to get down here. So in that case, yeah, respawn another big truck. We'll respawn that truck that's over there. Okay, I'm just going to toss that to the side. Um, then basically, um, yeah, so I'm risking it. I'm risking it for the biscuit. All right. What I'm basically going to end up doing is I'm not going to lower the bridge, keep the, br I'm not going to pay to keep the bridge down longer than normal because I'm actually going to end up, um, just having the whole piece on the truck down there or something or travel up whilst holding the piece or something like that. The whole tree. All right. See, we finally, we, got, we finally got a person joining. <laughs> it's about time. It's about time. Wait, will you look at that? I'm in exactly 341 K. Like, in zeros, three zeros. <laughs> and I'm just kidding about the about time thing. Don't don't worry. Um, okay, all right. Now, at this point, I actually have figured out something. All right? All right? Oh, yeah, by the way, if you're ever, if you ever join a game and I'm, it seems like I'm recording. Oh, no, I got this stuck. So, if you have the tiny floor, if you have the tiny floor blueprint, all right, which you probably should have, then just take it out. Anyways, I'm going to move this truck. And basically what I'm going to do is pop into the seat if this ever happens. Press R to rotate. And then basically I'm back. I'm back. All right. Then let me get the uh, tree back on the truck. I better hurry up. Okay. So I'm going to. No, no, no. Let me on. Let me. That was actually about to make me rage a little. Okay. Just. Oh. Oh. How did I just let myself die like that? Honestly. Honestly. All right. Well, it's good because I can cover if this ever happens. If the tree ever gets stuck in the water or like a piece and you really want it. Reset. Go back to the bridge. I, I pretty much lost my axe. All right. There. I bought an extra three minutes so that I can have a little bit more time. But keep in mind that eventually, I think after ten minutes or something, um, the void will just, you know, start naturally killing you down in the end times or area. area uh... That that was very stupid. Okay, since I'm coming back out here, I can't exactly rescue the tree right now. I have to wait a little bit for my health to recharge. Okay, all right. Um, now I'm back. Um, I guess I should just close. <laughs> Definitely close the tailgate. All right. Um, estimate where the tr where's the tree? Oh, okay. <laughs> estimate where the tree is. I think about there. Go in. Ryan, drag it out. Get it. Get it while you're in the vehicle. Ow, 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 ow. No, don't. Oh, jeez. Okay, I, I think that tree's gone. I think that tree's gone. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe I could still get the mini axe. Wait, hold on. Yeah, getting the axe is very easy. Thank, thank goodness, thank goodness. All right. All right, all right. Let me. That other truck's gone. So, 
I'm gonna use my many, many axe and let me let's pretend that the many axe is a piece of banana wood. All right, since I didn't successfully get any, and I want you to keep in mind that using this tactic is not 100%. You know, there could be a lot of things that go wrong. Keep your truck like right here. Oh, too late. What you're basically supposed to do is like pull your truck up, but like almost all the way up there. I don't do this very often, therefore I don't have much experience. But like put your truck right off, right, right up to the edge and try backing it up over there too. Then just very simply fling, like take the item out and just let's, let's pretend, let's pretend I'm all the way up there. Um, basically I look down from up there and then I basically take one of the pieces and drop it down. That's why if you do a full tree, it sure does save time. But it could risk, you know, getting stuck in the water like it did there. It could risk if you lose that one item. You basically will um, lose the whole trip or, or almost the whole trip. And basically, don't rely on getting your truck down there. Your truck could not go down there. Therefore, you might even have to chop up the full tree and bring the tree logs over to this whole area here. Or if you're not bringing down your truck and all the things are chopped. Maybe, you know, if you can get your whole truck... You know, um, put all the logs into the truck and then, like, move the truck back and forth so that the items don't glitch. I think that's still a problem. I'm not sure. And then, basically, if you don't have your truck down there, I have my truck, but not not any trees. Um, just take, take the pieces of wood and put them down the hole. Down this hole will be the safari, all right? And it could be super duper dark when you get the stuff down here, all right? Basically, fling them down here, and basically what you're going to want to do is wait for the bridge to come up naturally. Get a truck from the mainland, all right? And make sure you get all the logs out of this hole before you get out, all right? Because you don't want to have to go all the way back down to the end times area, all right? And keep in mind, you will drop the axe when you reset, all right? Basically, like, when you down, you're down here for the first time and you know how you have all the wood, just get all the wood and get it out of there, all right? Because it's a hassle to get up through here without going down to the... Uh, um, end times area and it'd be it'll be very inconvenient if the the bridge is up and you still have wood stuck up here <laughs> and you're not in this whole area um you know get a truck from the mainland like i said bring it over here then you know load up all the pieces of banana wood that you drop down here and then just go back across the bridge all right that's basically the other way if you bring the truck up um through and if you let the, the bridge bring the truck back up then You'll be able to, like, drive it right off and onto your base, all right? I'd imagine it'd be super simple from there. That is how, that is the easiest way you can get banana wood, all right? Apologies for not being able to replicate its, um, uh, well, how you exactly do it. But you guys, I feel like you guys get the dribble. I feel like you guys get the main point of what I'm trying to say here. So I don't really feel like there's really need a need to. And, you know, but me by doing this shows you, like, you know, what could go wrong. All right. Anyway, subscribe to Jimmy Drag Motocross Boss. I'm trying to get to 1.25k subscribers by my 17th birthday, which is March 15, March 15, 2023. If I hit 1.25k subscribers, I will do a quote-unquote real dating tutorial three. It is a very funny um video series. So subscribe.